India is marking its 75th Republic Day with pomp and show. The Constitution of Independent India came into force 75 years ago today on the 26th of January 1950. Celebrations have started across India, but the Indian capital New Delhi is particularly a buzz. Over 8,000 security personnel are strategically deployed across New Delhi. The capital is set to host the grand annual parade in which the forces showcase their might and the states display their culture. For the first time ever, an all-women tri-service contingent will be marching down the Kartavya Path. Women pilots will also enthrall the audience during the Indian Air Force's fly-past representing Nari Shakti. The contingents of the Central Armed Police Forces will also consist of only women personnel. President Draupadi Murmu will lead the country in the grand celebrations. French President Emmanuel Macron will grace the celebrations as the chief guest. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi said Macron's presence adds to the history of friendship and collaboration between India and France. India, it has a tradition of inviting at least one foreign head of state or government to the Republic Day March in New Delhi. A 95-member French Foreign Legion contingent will also take part in the parade. The French marching contingent will be accompanied by a 33-member French military band, two Rafale fighter jets and one Airbus 330 multi-role tanker transport aircraft of the French Air and Space Force will be part of the fly past. In a short while, the celebrations will commence on the parade route stretching between Vijay Chowk to Kartavya Path with the momentous unfurling of the national flag resonating with the national anthem. Dignitaries including the Indian and French president and other top officials will start arriving by 9.30 a.m. local time and the parade will begin around 10.30 a.m. from Vijay Chowk. The themes for this year are Vikasit Bharat or Developed India and Bharat, Lok Tantra Ki Matruka. That is India, mother of democracy. Now, for more on this, we are being joined by Major General Rajan Kochar, who is a defense strategic analyst live from Dehradun. Sir, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. It's now, sir, I want to begin by asking you, of course, I mentioned the theme of this year's Republic Day is Vikasit Bharat. As always, India is celebrating with the Grand Parade, which will also see the participation of the French Foreign Legion. What's your assessment of that? In the uh, French Indo uh, friendship, and uh, we have a, a strategic uh, partnership agreement with them. It was actually inked on 26th of January 1998. So it culminates into almost 25 years of a long-standing friendship with the uh, uh, with France. And uh, uh, President Macron is coming for the second time. He is going to be the chief guest on our Republic Day Parade. If you remember, in 2019 also he was here. Mm -hmm. And uh, a great deal of uh, reciprocation was done because last year in the Bastille Parade, 269 uh, uh, member tri-service uh, contingent of the Indian Armed Forces uh, took part in uh, France. And uh, President Modi was also uh, given the Legion of Honor there. So it is a matter of great pride for both the uh, nations to... Uh, 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 have this kind of uh, strong bonds of friendship, especially uh, the role in the Indo-Pacific, if, if we actually see India's role, uh, France is going to be a, a great uh, contributor to the might of the Indian Navy as well as the Indian Air Force. Uh, uh, recently, uh, 26 maritime uh, Rafale version aircrafts uh, will be uh, coming to India. Uh, 36 have already arrived Rafale aircrafts uh, with the Indian Air Force and now with the Indian Navy we are going to get that. Uh, then uh, uh, I would also like to highlight here the uh, Scorpion deal of the submarines. Uh, uh, three Scorpions are going to be uh, 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 delivered to the Indian Navy. It was a long-standing requirement of the Indian Navy for the submarine fleet. And uh, we have strong uh, cultural bonds as well as 
partnerships in the cyber and space with the France. Mm-hmm. So I feel that today is a very a monumental day in the history of uh, Indo-French uh, friendship. And I'm sure in times to come, these bonds will become more stronger. Well, thank you so much for highlighting the strong partnership between India and France. I also wanted to talk about this. It will now the parade will also see the participation of an all women tri service contingent marching down the Kartavya path. Women pilots will also enthrall the audience during the fly pass representing Nari Shakti. What do you have to say about this? Uh, this is one uh, uh, I would like to credit this achievement to our Prime Minister Modi because the kind of uh, uh, participation we are seeing of women in the armed forces and uh, it's a landmark achievement that today we have commanding officers of units uh, f- uh, which are uh, commanded by uh, women. As a matter of fact, yesterday I visited a unit in Dehradun which was uh, commanded by a colonel, a lady officer and uh, I could see the uh, kind of uh, a command and control she had over the entire uh, setup. So it is a, a great achievement. Uh, Nari Shakti, uh, not only in words, but also in action we are uh, seeing. And it will be evident today uh, in uh, 75, uh, 75th Republic Day, uh, uh, parade when you're going to uh, see uh, all the uh, women uh, contingent of all the three uh, services and uh, apart from that the uh, pilots uh, the uh, air show also we are uh, going to see uh, uh, women uh, pilots in action so I uh, feel that uh, the uh, further teach to the armed forces is being given by the women uh, today and uh, during my uh, service also as a commandant and as a commanding officer, I had uh, uh, women officers under my command. And let me uh, share experiences with you that they gave the uh, finest display of mm-hmm. duty, uh, dedication, and uh, valor in whatever tasks uh, they were entrusted with. Sir, thank you so much for sharing your experience there. And also, I wanted to uh, get your insights on the themes for this year, that is Vikasit Bharat and Bharat Lok Tantra Ki Matrika. What do you have to say about this? Uh, see, but there are two aspects to this theme, uh, Vikasit Bharat. It is uh, uh, freedom of democracy. Our country is uh, a diverse culture and we are able to live in harmony and peace. So that is one message which is going through across in today's parade. Second is Aat Nirbhar Bharat. We have now made giant strides. If you would, you would be aware that we have defense corridors now in Uttar Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. And uh, for the first time, we are uh, seeing strategic partnerships being initiated. Uh, AK-203 rifles are going to be uh, manufactured in MIT. We have our own uh, Vajra K-9 uh, self well, uh, Hawaii gun, which has been uh, deployed in Ladakh. Prachand is another uh, drone which has been uh, manufactured by DRDO and is going to be showcased here today. Tejas Mark II has come a long way from Tejas Mark I and today it competes as a stealth fighter which is capable of carrying out multitasking. So I'm just naming a a few examples and this theme uh, uh, Chandrayaan 3 is also going to be showcased in today's parade. So this is also a very landmark achievement that we have been able to uh, you put our uh, flag on the moon and shortly on the Mars. So it is a uh, it's a message to the world today. Uh, through this uh, parade, I believe it is a showcase of our own capabilities, our own uh, power, right. and our own contribution to technology. Right, sir. In fact, I was just going to come to this. I wanted to get your insights on the evolution of the Indian Armed Forces. Of course, as you rightly mentioned, this is the parade is 
where the fo uh, forces showcase their might and of course states also display their culture. We will see the Indian Army contingent leading the mechanized column of 61 cavalry, the Indian Navy contingent that will consist of 144 men as well as the Indian Air Force that will comprise of 144 airmen as well. So what do you have to say about the evolution of the Indian Armed Forces? Uh, a very uh, a good question that you asked uh, me because uh, we have been constantly evolving in the terms of strategy, in the terms of our warfare and in the terms of our doctrines. Mm -hmm. So uh, today we uh, see uh, a scenario which is a two and a half front war as we uh, talk about. And we see the capability of our Indian armed forces to be able to uh, be there at line of actual control. So you can see the evolution of our armed forces it was actually evident that uh, uh, a mobilization of more than one lakh troops was carried out in Ladakh uh, over just about uh, two months. It showed our actually evolution of our logistical might and the way we were able to uh, transport our entire ammunition and our weapon systems in Ladakh and uh, prevent any further incursions by the Chinese. So uh, our uh, forces evolved, I uh, uh, remember in uh, 1981, uh, when I was commissioned to the armed forces, mm -hmm. uh, we had this uh, uh, 7.62 mm SLR with us. And today we have graduated to the Sigur rifles. We have graduated to the uh, AK series of rifles and we have our own rifle uh, in SARS. So i am just give you a small example how the evolution of uh, armed forces takes place over the years. And not only that, uh, we have also uh, uh, you know, increased in the terms of our uh, missile uh, force. Uh, we are now uh, coming with a rocket force. Mm -hmm. We have a, a cyber defense agency. We have an NTRO, which is uh, one organization and the defense intelligence agency, especially after the Kargil war and after the Subramanyam committee report which came through. So these are all the signs of evolution because you have to change with the changing times. Technology is something which has to be assimilated. We have artificial intelligence coming into the armed forces now. The trials of various equipments are actually uh, in uh, taking place in mountains and deserts. Mm -hmm. So. We as a force, I can tell you being the fourth largest army in the world, we as a force have evolved over the years and today we have the latest equipment with us. We have a mix of Russian as well as American equipment with us and in times to come, I am sure we will be able to manufacture this equipment within our own country. All right. Well, uh, Mr. Major General uh, Rajan Kocha, thank you so much for joining us on World DNA with your perspective and your insights on this. It's been an enriching discussion. Thank you very much.